This is Lemons Car Spotting. You post to Instagram with the hashtag Lemons Car Spotting. We pick the hooptiest. They are so incredibly terrible. And which one we want to become a real Lemons build. It does car-like things. We've been pushing for one of those in Lemons too, and those are very affordable. Hey, it's Levin's Car Spotting with Nick and Jay. It's the program where you go onto Instagram, tag your photos of Levin's Car Spotting, and we find them, review 10 a week, and hand out two awards. Award number one, the hooptiest. Pretty self-explanatory. Award number two, the Lemons Car Build. That's the car we want to actually see built into a real Lemons race car. Okay, here we go. Stop. Ah, that is, uh, you're doing hooptiest. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, I am writing that down and okay. here we go. All right. Oh, man. Okay. Well, <laughs> Jeff Gates on the phone. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Uh, this looks like one of your posts from Mr. Hoobie Graham, Day, uh, yeah, Jay's this, alter this ego. Is, this is ah. Hoobie Graham on Instagram and this is Santa Cruz. This is every uh, day of the pandemic. I was walking my dog in a new neighborhood trying to learn Santa Cruz and yeah. uh, Santa Cruz, they're thick on the ground. Yeah. Well, you know, Mopars, I must say, I mean, of the classic muscle cars, they're certainly, uh, their following is the weirdest. The people yeah. that are into them are the biggest freaks, but yeah. I got to yeah. say the cars are the most interesting. Yeah, no, and the people, well, and Biggest Freak is a euphemism for most interesting. Yeah. I mean, you look at the Tom Hergerts and the Jeff Gateses of the world, and yeah. they're way more interesting than the good guys cruise night Camaro owners that you oh. usually see in muscle cars. Yeah, so what is this, a dart? It's a dart, I think, or what, you know, they, they put a whole bunch of nameplates. Chrysler always put a whole bunch of nameplates on the same goddamn car, so... Who really knows? But yeah, I like these, these, I guess they were compacts in the day. I'd yeah. call them midsize now. I like these way better than the big boats. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's pretty cool. Perfect car for a California beach town. You know in Santa Cruz that the person bought it for the wrong reason. They bought it, you know, I got sick. This is environmentally friendly. Not, oh, this <laughs> yeah, right. Cool right. Car. right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the manufacturing process ended in 1964 and it is no longer polluting. Yeah, yeah exactly. Except for the times when it fires up and it pollutes <laughs> all of the pollution. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> oh man, check out check out the personalized plate. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's got to be in demand. <laughs> that's that's a level of initiative that would not be assumed from looking at the car. So I don't know anything about Fieros. This looks like a relatively late one. I'm guessing it's a 2M6. I think that's what the spoiler means. I don't really know much about Fieros either, but yeah. love the basket wheels. You yeah. know. Highly underrated car. Basically so I just I just saw Fast and Furious Nine. Oh, and, uh, oh really? <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, spoiler alert: you can shut this off if you haven't seen it yet. But uh, at one point, uh, Tyrese and Ludacris are literally in space in a Pontiac Fiero. <laughs> Uh, I was about to make a, a, a shark jumping comment, but now I think I need to see it. And my buddy leans over and he says, I forget why they're there. <laughs> a satellite. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, recommended. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh man, he, I was just at the DWA Cars and Coffee, or I guess you can't for trademark reasons say that, the DWA Morning Motors uh, yeah. yesterday, which I never do. I mean, it's the first time I've been to something like that in 10 years. There was a dude with a TR6, same vintage, in red, same mini lights. It was spectacular. I, I really, really like these cars. They're terrible, but yeah, they're good looking. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I'm... <laughs> All else being equal, I'm a TR4 guy, which, you know, I think everybody is. But yeah. it used to be that the TR4 was like five grand and the TR6 I, was two dollars. I right. don't think that's the case anymore. No, good TR6s have gotten really expensive, like yeah. every horrible 70s, 80s car. Yeah. They've gotten crazy, crazy expensive. I, I thought the, the the wheel size to body is spectacular on <laughs> yeah. this car. Yeah. The great ratio. You know, good good Italian lines, good Michelotti lines on a crappy British car. Yeah. yeah. What's not to like? 
Yeah, I, 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 I don't disagree with any of that. That's you know who's cool been hot for one of these for years is Jessica Laszlo. And every time yeah. I see one, I forward it to her and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> This would be a good candidate for a BMW straight six swap as, as someone who has uh, somewhat experience with such a thing. Yeah, totally. Totally. All right. What the is a La Forza? Oh, is that a La Forza? <laughs> I would have said it was a lot, a giant lot of it. No, you're right. Well, yeah. I thought that La too. Forza. <laughs> and I also thought that the awning for the uh, building behind it was like a, a, <laughs> like a roof roof tent. Tent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh baby. You know, these were like $4,000 for a while. Are are they still? No, I, maybe they are. I don't think any of them are still running and driving. But I mean, they, don't these just have a Ford three hundred two yeah. in them? Like, what would yeah. make them not run? I mean, it's sort and of a rhetorical question. Else, yeah. There's four thousand parts in a car, of which three thousand nine hundred ninety nine are still yeah. not Ford three hundred two. But I don't know, man. These were pretty spectacular. They well, had the right idea. They were just 30 years too early. Yeah, you know, that's a really good point. Like everybody, you know, with a tech job these days drives yeah. a Range Rover. Um, yeah. And, you know, yeah. if the LaForza, if the LaForza yeah. was around, they'd drive that. Yeah, big, big fat thing, leather interior with a Ford V8. I mean, yeah. what else is a Range Rover? What's not, what's not to like? Yeah. I wonder yeah. how much they weigh, not to oh, get ahead of ourselves. Good question. <laughs> Well, probably when they were made, they weighed a lot more than they weigh now. What with rust and all. Yeah, so, fair enough. Boy, all they right. were not handsome. Sadly, you know, they could have made it look like anything. And they were pretty, they kind of look like a Nissan Access. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Well, I, I had the same lot of reaction. There must be a proportional yeah. similarity. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah. good, though. Pretty good. Pretty good. I admire whoever's good. working that. Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> it's a, it's a an echo. echo. Yeah, it's an echo art car. And, and I mentioned this before on, on car spotting, but, you know, for all of the interesting things people do with their own appearance, what with clothing, hair color, body piercings, whatever, everybody drives a silver, yeah. you know, midsize SUV. And yeah. uh, I think that the, uh, if you have a tattoo, then your car should be required to look like this. Yeah, as this well. is. This this is pretty good. This is pretty good. I had some friends over the other day and they have about a 20 year old Yaris four door automatic, yeah. which yeah. I guess was the successor to this car. I don't yeah. know. And yeah. uh, they love that thing. You could offer them a Rolls Royce Cullinan <laughs> and they would say no. They love their hoopty ass automatic 200,000 mile old Toyota. So I get it. I, I did some research. I was looking for a car for my uh, notoriously penny pinching uncle, and uh, he oh yeah he he cheated that guy. <laughs> yeah. And so I was looking for an engine that requires like the least amount of maintenance, and it was this little one point five in the Echo that then carried over to the Yaris and the Scion XB yeah. and all these other cars. They'll just run and run and run. So yeah, yeah, uh, pretty good stuff. Yep. All right. Uh, <laughs> good God, man. Yeah. <laughs> and I never realized, really, I guess until looking at this picture, they changed this body around. They it, sure did. All the same molds, but it's not. That's actually a little yeah. different yeah. than the Lowy version. It's square. It's a little taller around the fenders, I think. This is ugly. <laughs> You'd have to tell a butt ugly. Yeah. You'd have to see. Uh, God, you'd have to see them side by side. Yeah. And interestingly yeah. enough, I know exactly a place where you could do that, which is uh, my neighbor, which has who has five of them, most oh of them God. being this weird later version, wow. uh, but one of them being the original. So one of these days, I'll have to see them side by side and take notes. Yeah. Why would you do that? Not not the collecting oh, five. I mean, that's Jay just Gong. an unfathomable question. No, no, but like you buy the rights to a shape. So I want to know why would you do that? I, you know, collecting Avantis, of course, but like, why would you take this pre? The whole point was that you bought a Raymond Lowy design and you're going to keep building it. Why would you then make it like a second generation Monte Carlo? I guess that the Monte Carlo was 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 in style at the time. Yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, this was originally a Studebaker designed by the famous Ray, Raymond Lowy, Lowy, and uh, later some other company bought the designs and continued making them through the 80s with weird updates the the most obvious being the square headlights versus the round but then yeah. yeah as jay pointed out there are other detail changes that makes it just kind of lame kinda i don't know seriously lame yeah well there you go okay
Full game. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. Volvo 122 wagon. So I don't really know what defines an Amazon versus a non-Amazon. I always yeah. call any old beater Volvo wagon an Amazon, but I know that's not right. Well, I, I see, I think that it's the 122 that is the Amazon, and I don't know the answer either, but my theory is that it was sold right. as the 122 in this country, and in other markets, it was known as the Amazon. Uh, as good as anything. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the 122, you could get two-door, four-door, or wagon, um, all of them pretty cool. Yep. Um, there was a dude who was rocking one of these on the New England 1000 about 30 years ago, the first time I did that event. And I was in, I don't know, John Burt's Ferrari. I don't even remember what I was driving. But that guy kicked our asses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it yeah. was so fast and so loud. It was great. Yeah, yeah. These were ahead of their time. I mean, I mean, this is a 60s car that had, you know, 80s levels of reliability. So, uh, uh, yeah. That, I, I, could, I could have one of those. I yeah, totally. Totally. All right. Next up, oh. <laughs> it's a dude it's a three, a three two three. Yep, yep. Little little baby Mazda three two three. Reputation of being unkillable. Reality very killable. <laughs> well, we've seen Super a handful. Of these. Yeah, we've seen a handful of these in lemons, and uh, I don't know. I feel like they they their record is okay as far I don't as know. according yeah according to Mike Slap Attack, he's <laughs> saying they are bulletproof reliability. Well, yeah. that has not been my experience. I, I've known a lot of people who have these things, and <laughs> little pieces are constantly falling off. Everything is about 80% thinner than it yeah. is from a Toyota. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, neat cars. I mean, they're light as a yeah. result, and the motor spins great. The motor is fabulous. Yeah, yeah. 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 No? I don't know. Uh, try one and find out. <laughs> yep, there you go. There you go. Just don't get the 323 uh, GTX thing. That's just terrible. Well, once they came out with, uh, you know, modern all-wheel drive turbo yeah. cars, it became yeah. sort of uh, pointless. Yeah, there you go. Oh, now man. The subject of pointless. <laughs> now, what were they trying to accomplish with this exactly? I mean. That's a good question. I America get the bad. vibe. That's what they were doing. I mean, obviously, with this package, whatever it was called, I mean, the one that stands out is BMW. I mean, I don't know why you'd buy, why would you buy a 540 V8 <laughs> when you could get this? It's the same car. That's exactly where I was headed was I get the impression that they thought this was as good as a five series BMW. Yeah. 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 Which, That's what the spoiler is about. Cause when you're going a speed limited 155 on the Autobahn, right. you really need that downforce in the back. Yeah. 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 Well, and the irony now is that, you know, General Motors is probably closer in quality to BMW than they were when this thing came out. Yeah. Um, yeah. But they're no longer trying to do stuff like this. Or are they? Is Cadillac still in business? Nobody knows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Cadillac is on its 80th. This is our last chance to get it back. Uh, cycle. <laughs> car. Yeah. 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 Made it Hey, blow yeah. that picture up again, because I want to know, what's the burst of smoke and fire scar around the I was kind of vehicle? wondering about that, too. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it sort of has there? the... <laughs> well, I, I mean, the one thing we know from Lemons is that all American cars from this sort of 80s, 90s era pour gas like crazy out of the filler neck. Yeah. It was, yeah. you know, it's cross brand. It doesn't matter. Chevy Ford, yeah. they all did it. Um, I don't know what was going on to, in Detroit around that time, but I assume that that's what this is, that gas has just been spraying out the side of this car and yeah. collecting road mung as it goes down the, <laughs> down the street. So to be fair, you know, looking at these cars, if these had been great cars, yeah. the design language is not terrible. I mean, it's an interest. It's got a big greenhouse, right? It's got a low belt line, yeah. um, kind of long. It's not terrible. Yeah. It's just we associate it with the fact that the cars were terrible. <laughs> well, if you're going to associate it with something, I think that's pretty relevant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I note the, there's a hashtag. This is from Lynn Vote, by the way, Charlottesville, Virginia. And I note in the hashtags that uh, one of them is W Body Nation. <laughs> <laughs> is, All right. Is that a uh, is that a be. thing? <laughs> there's a dude out there with a W body tattoo as we're yeah. speaking. Yep. Well, there's a lemons tattoo, so you know there's W body ones out there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Low cowl. I mean, it's just not a bad looking car in yeah. principle. Yeah. This yeah. is true. Yeah. All right. It's kind of like a giant prelude. 
<laughs> Speaking of giant, yeah. Yeah. our last car of the week, it's from Johan down there in Scottsdale. What, what are we it? even looking at? What is it? It's a Mercury, I'll bet you. Whenever there's a car you can't identify from this era, era it's always a Mercury. I was going to say the same logic, but that it's an AMC. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. I don't, you know, and if you look at the wheel covers, you want to say Pontiac. We know yeah. it's not a Pontiac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I'm going to stick with Mercury, but that's just a wild ass guess. It's pretty magnificent. I yeah. mean, and it's in incredible condition. You know, and the color is spectacular. I mean, that's Aston Martin DBR1 <laughs> color right there. It is. Can you imagine owning this thing in 2021? Yeah, because yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I've owned a lot of cars like this. They're terrible. But I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're where you're going. It's just. You know, they're slower than a Honda Civic. They get the gas mileage of a Titanic. You need an airplane hangar to park it in. Wait, Nick, you owned this car. What are you talking about? You had that <laughs> Comet for like four years. Yeah, I had the, well, and it, and, and, and and I got rid of it uh, probably three years too late. But compared to my Comet, this yeah. thing, I mean, the no, Comet is this half is, the size. Yeah, no, this is 50% in all directions. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. I hope that it's some old dude who bought it new and kept it in great condition and drives it around as his normal car. Even the chrome on the rockers is perfect. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What a thing. Really good. All right. Well, if you know what that car is, and uh, if you want to point out all of the 40 other ways where we screwed things up this week, yep. definitely post down in the comments. Yep. Uh, but it's now it's time for the awards. Uh, I guess I'm going first with the hooptiest. And boy... Uh, a lot of choices. Um, I think I've got to go with the nameplate that doesn't exist. One of the two nameplates that don't exist yeah. now that I'm scrolling yeah. through. Yeah. And I'm going with the LaForza. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, and you I mean, could leave it up. Because... Other than uh, weird Italian body with a 5.0 Mustang drivetrain. Yeah, so just leave that up because clearly also for uh, uh, Lemon's build, got to be the LaForza. <laughs> well, the real question, as we talked about, was uh, whether it would be over our 4,200 pound weight limit. Man, I'm sure it is. And I would waver that thing in a heartbeat. I mean, <laughs> it, it can't be dangerous because it's never even going to make it onto the track. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, oh, that would be so great. Yeah, yeah. They'd have, the to get race... rid of those, they'd have to get rid of those $4 a piece giant wheels from the pick and pull. But, you know, other than that, they're in business. Oh, man. Can you imagine this thing like super lowered down with uh, some race rubber on it? It would look so sweet. That'd be really good. That'd be really good. That's my vote. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll do it for this week. Uh, as always, keep posting with hashtag lemons car spotting in Instagram. Forgot where we were for a second. And uh, we'll find it. We'll review it on this show. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, totally. LaForza. Was LaForza a person or was it just a vaguely... I don't vaguely... know, and I was just asking myself, was Malcolm Bricklin in the middle of it? I, I mean, he must have been, you know? Yeah, seems pretty likely. Yeah, who else would be the lead on a deal like this? It's pretty great. What does that mean? The Force? As in LaForza <laughs> be with you?